miles and miles. The only thing on my mind is your name. Giving me hope and it's What's going on guys? Casual Savage here and today I have a very simple tutorial for you and it's how to reverse your audio in Adobe Audition. So in order to reverse the audio in Adobe Audition, believe it or not, is super super simple. And as you'll see on screen right now, I am in Adobe Audition CC and the song I am using is from Ivan B called Edge of the World. Now I'm just going to zoom in to some of the song and I'll play through from here for you. So there you go. Now, if you want to reverse the entire audio, then it's super quick. Just press Ctrl A on your keyboard so everything is highlighted like this. Then you would come up to effects and from effects you can see straight away it says reverse. So just select reverse. And as you can see, the audio waveform has completely changed. So now the beginning of the song is actually up here. And of course, the end of the song is here. So I will just come to the middle and I'll play it through for you. And you can see it is going to be reversed. And then also I'll just play from here as well. There you get the point. That's it. That's how you reverse the audio in Adobe Audition. However, now I'll get into a little bit more depth if you want to do certain areas of the song or music or voice. Depends what you're editing. Now, for example, right here at the beginning. From here, I'm going to come across to 10 seconds. And I left clicked and dragged across and highlighted this area because this is the area now that I want to reverse. So all I'm going to do is come back to effects and I'm going to select reverse. You can see that audio waveform has slightly changed. So I'm going to play that through from the beginning. So from zero to five seconds, it's normal. And then from five to 10 seconds, it's going to be reversed. And then it's going to go back to normal. So I'll play this through for you. Just like that, super simple. Now it doesn't have to just be at the start of the video, of course you can come across to the center, you can come across up here if you'd like to. You can pick anywhere on your timeline and you can simply reverse it using them exact same simple steps. Now one thing I do want to point out very quickly just to give you a bit more guidance, if you didn't know already, you can zoom into your track up here using this bar. So your entire track up here is set by default. And then if you drag from either the left or the right, you can see you can zoom in. And then also if you highlight an area, it's also going to show up here as well. So if you do go across further on the timeline, you can see where you already have it highlighted. So that's just a little simple tip or a little trick I thought I'd share with you. 